So cancel culture strikes again. Hello there friends and welcome. I hope you're doing really great wherever you are in the world and whatever you're up to and I wonder how your week has been. Mine's been really really interesting personally. In this video I want to talk a little bit about the cancel culture and also about my uh, exile from Facebook. I think that's the best way of describing it. We're going to get straight into it. What is the cancel culture? The cancel culture, at its simplest form, is basically when one person doesn't like what another person has shared and they basically report it to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whoever and it gets taken down. Now it can get taken down for a variety of reasons. It can be alleged copyright infringements. It could be uh, going against a popular political agenda. It could be spreading hate speech or misinformation. And uh, it, you know there can be a number of issues as well that go along but I have had my own personal experience with what could be deemed as the cancel culture. It happened last night as a matter of fact. Uh, in fact, about 12 hours from uh, 12 hours back in the past. Uh, my wife and I, we were sitting there watching a, a film and just getting ready for bed. And I got a notification through from Facebook saying that I had infringed on one of their copyright um, procedures. And as a result, an apparent alleged uh, repeat infringements, I was going to be uh, disabled basically from my personal profile on Facebook. Now, I have two personal profiles on Facebook. The, the first reason being I have a main profile, or had a main profile, uh, that was literally for, for business and that would connect with people around the world and the different groups that I uh, operated and all that kind of stuff. The second uh, profile was a backup profile. And basically, if, if I was logged out of my uh, account for whatever reason, I would be able to log back in. So that's why I had two profiles up there. That's first and foremost. Uh, the second one hardly ever got used, uh, but the first one obviously got used quite a lot. Now, we did business with Facebook for close to 15 years, I think, with that profile. Uh, we made a lot of money together. We did very, very well together. Um, but I think what it comes down to is this. Uh, a particular famous meteorologist who I will remain, you know, keep, uh, who, who will remain nameless because uh, I have a lot of respect for him. Uh, he had seen a video that I had shared about a year ago and it was during an ANOVA tornado that happened and the caption that I put up was sending our prayers, love and thoughts to all of those affected by this weekend's disaster. Now the problem with a lot of stuff on social media, particularly if you're highly successful, is that you can have your social media accounts cloned and you can have your social media accounts uh, basically where, where, where they're you know, delivering misleading information. They can pretend to be you. Essentially it's a case of uh, identity theft. And this is not obviously what I was doing. Uh, because I wasn't claiming to be this meteorologist. I wasn't claiming in any way, shape, or form to uh, be, be taking credit for any of the video or anything that, that was shared. I was simply sharing the video and adding our thoughts and prayers to the person. Anyway, I got a notification through last night saying that uh, this particular meteorologist had uh, flagged my account as, uh, you know, sharing copyright and sharing copyrighted material and, and it's the whole thing of sharing you know that's the whole purpose really of Facebook is to share and to connect with people and all that kind of stuff we've talked about that in other videos and for whatever reason they deemed it upon themselves that uh, we're going to take John Morris down now there are other things that are going with that because obviously I talk a lot about the mind body and soul stuff I'm not just one you know particular uh, I, I don't just work in one particular area I think is what I'm trying to say I, um, I work in a number of different areas and I'm myself more of a brand rather than just a business. So anyway, Facebook uh, took it upon themselves to deactivate my account. They gave me 30 days to send them uh, a number of details of which I did straight away. And I got an email through this morning uh, that basically said, uh, we have exercised our right to uh, deactivate your account due to alleged uh, copyright infringements and repeated copyright infringements. Now, I want you to explore that word with me, alleged. What does alleged mean? It means that they have no proof, they have no concrete hard evidence that this has actually taken place. Um, so in a court of law, that would not actually stand up at all. So 
I want you to be aware more than anything else, if you're running a business on Facebook or social media at all, I want you to be aware of a couple of different things. The first thing I want you to be aware of is you must build an email list. It's something that I have neglected over the years. I do have one, but it's a very small list. Uh, but I've neglected to do over the years. And the reason you want to build a email list is because if social media goes down, if Mark Zuckerberg decides, you know, oh, we're just going to sell up Instagram, we're going to sell up on Facebook, and you don't have an email list, then you most likely are going to lose that audience that you've worked so hard to build. That's the first thing. The second reason you want an email list is because it protects your content. It means that, again, if social media goes down for whatever reason, you still have access to that list. You are protected. Uh, it means that your audience is still there. Now, I acted rather shrewdly, actually, in a lot of stuff that I did because I created business pages, because I created groups, and I invited my entire friend list into these said groups. Uh, it means that I can go back on and I can more or less pick up where I left back off because I was asked this morning, you know, well, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to open, an, open, open up another Facebook profile because unless they're going to block my IP address, they are not going to stop me. They are, they, they may try and, you know, they, they may demolish the walls, but I will build it as twice as quick, uh, brick by brick and faster than what they can do. So I'm not in the least bit concerned because I've got other platforms which I operate on as well. But you, no, matter the, no matter the platforms that you operate on, you always want to make sure that you retain as much control as possible. Again, if you're on social media, if you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, wherever and whenever else, YouTube, you know, your content is not your own. It belongs to, essentially, the, these different platforms. Uh, more so than that, if they deem that you get a little bit out of line or get a little too popular or you go a little bit this way, a little bit that way, you know, and, and they just deem that you just don't fit their mold, they will cancel you. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, and I suppose the final thing is when and if you ever experience this, first of all, don't panic. That's probably one of the worst things you can do is, is because by panicking, you set yourself into a negative state of mind, you get frustrated, you get wound up. I got more upset the other day by the, our couriers making a, a mess of, uh, of, of an order uh, than I did anything else. And it turned out that it was just miscommunication. This was done deliberate. Uh, and I just got to the point, I was like, okay, what can I do? How can I change it? How can I, how can I develop? What, what options do I have? Do I want to continue doing this? Or do I just want to fade into the distance and, uh, you know, just, just do whatever? And I remember, you know, a lot of people had commented on Facebook and what they kept saying was, you know, every time we see one of your posts and your paintings and your inspirational stuff and to hear how well you're doing, it reminds all of us that it is possible. It reminds all of us that we can do something, that your, your, your mere, you know, way of life is... Uh, enough to bring a smile to somebody's face. So, I guess what I'm saying is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Retain as much control as you have. That's why everything you do wants to start with your website. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube, all, Twitter, want all wants to be feeding back into your website. Because doing this, it is very unlikely that Google are going to tear down your website. There's a lot more legal issue that Google would have to face uh, to do that than if it's just Facebook or if it's just Instagram or if it's just, you know, another social media platform. So I wanted to bring you up to speed as to what was happening in this week and what our plans are going forward. We will rebuild. We will regroup. And we will continue doing what we're doing. The great thing is, uh, the, the final part of this, is that we have been building assets now for a number of years. So my books are assets. Coincidentally, we've got a new one out that's called uh, Creative Business Made Easy. It's on Amazon now and on ebook form. It's a special offer, $4.99. Uh, go and check it out if you're an artist, an author, a musician, a sketcher, a sculptor, a songwriter, a poet, whatever. This will teach you how to build a business from scratch. Uh, it's going to have a few amendments and a few little additions that's going to be going into the book very soon. Um, of course, if you purchase the book now, you will get those amendments and additions. Um, just send us your email address 
uh, things like you know how to copyright your material, a little bit more advanced on uh, on pricing. But ultimately, if you are you know struggling with marketing, struggling with sales, struggling with business, struggling to understand business because it changes all the time, struggling to understand social media, struggling to understand how to price your work, whether it be your books, whether it be music, whether it be your uh, your artwork, if you're struggling on how to develop income from your artwork then this is going to be the place for you. We're also looking at building a podcast uh, later on this year, which will be called Creative Business Made Easy, um, and, or Creative Business Made Simple. I haven't settled on a name yet, but uh, you know, th there's a number of irons in the fire that we've got. So I didn't want you to think that I just abandoned you and just run away and left. I've done my utmost to get this message out to as many people as I can, and, uh, and I hope that this reaches the right people. If you are currently waiting on paintings uh, from me, and I know there are four of you uh, at least that are waiting, uh, please don't think that I've just left. <laughs> I haven't just done a runner. I'm still very much alive and well, uh, and I have attempted to contact you, or I will be attempting to contact you at the earliest possible convenience, um, but do sit tight. If you need to get in touch with me, you can at the uh, John Morris Art From The Heart Facebook page, the business page, that's still there. Um, and I'm glad that I had the foresight to add Katie, my wife, as an admin, uh, because it means, again, once I log in, I can put myself back as the admin and uh, we can pick, pretty much pick up from where we left off. Um, it just means that I will be a little bit more cautious as to who and what content I am sharing, um, if any, uh, now. So um, it's, uh, it's a good learning curve for sure. And uh, I want to thank you guys for listening uh, to, obviously, this vlog uh, a little bit. Hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the audio and visual version as well. Um, I know it's not something that... It's something that we combine quite a bit, actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, if you are not already subscribed to our mailing list, make sure to subscribe. We'll put a link in the, in the uh, chat bar in the section below. And uh, aside from that, have a phenomenal day, my friends. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you very, very soon. Namaste.